Hi, I am Sasha, and you are watching my first video, and how excited I am. Who am I? Again, I'm Sasha, I'm from Holland, and I'm 24 years old. Most of the time I'm a nail technician, so that's also the reason my first video is about my nails. My English is a bit rusty. I know, I promise I will work on it and I hope, honestly, that it will develop and that I roll into it. <laughs> it's also a bit funny to speak to a camera, so I do know I sound a bit weird, but I also think that's the thing I would roll in. So please give me a break. <laughs> What am I going to do? I'm going to show you this, babies. It's a color boom with a glitter pad from purple and green. I love it when my nails shine. So, let's begin. For this design, I'm using the gel polish of Young Nails. In this case, it's the line Manic Q color. The, the name is Magantia 101 Purpleized. I really believe it's my favorite color. That color we're going to fade out with a special brush. It's a brush from Loveness, Conk Brush 1 4. It's a special design brush to make an ombre or a baby boom. I hope you can see it. Then we are going to use purple and green glitter. I honestly don't know where I get them from, so I'm not going to tell you, because I don't know. Oh, by the way, nobody is paying me for this. This is all my stuff, and I pay for it myself, and it's everything I have, I show. So, nobody asked me to make any kind of... commercial things. And to finish it off, at last but not at least, the top coat from Young Nails. This, this one is stain resistant, so it helps you when you are a hairdresser or you smoke a lot so it doesn't stain on your nails. So the color is staying perfectly in time and beautiful. So, first thing we do, we roll the bottle of the gel polish. You never shake it because then it will go in the lid and um, it gets very messy when you're busy with it. So don't shake, only roll. Rolling is for uh, mixing up the pigments. There we go. When we started we paint the gel polish on the half of our nail. This way we have room left to fade it out. I always recommend to close up your, your lids because we're using a, a light to cure the polish and so it's safe to, to have everything inside or closed. Then we're going to use our brush and we give it a little fade. You push it back and you made it fading. Like so. This needs 30 seconds into the light. It's a UV light. Also, don't even know where I bought this again because I already have seven years my own little nail shop and uh, it's part time so I just don't know anymore. That was 30 seconds. Then we do that again. So, again, we are putting on our color but then not the same space but you hold back a little.
and also this one we are going to fade out. And again, we cure it in light. So, it's a beautiful fade. I always get happy from it. Okay. Then we're getting on to the glitter. Glitter is a bit dangerous. Don't ever let the lid off your jaw. Off your jaw? Because if you knock it over, it's everywhere. And I'm very good at knocking over things, so... The glitter needs a sticky coat to hold on to. So first of all, we're going to put one layer of the top coat from Young Nails over the whole nail. This is going to be our sticky layer. Close the lid and then we go to the glitter. So open up the lids and when you're done close it immediately. So when you have made your brush a little bit wet we are going to put on some glitter. Not too much. I can't believe I'm saying that. Not too much glitter. Is that possible? Well, in this design it is. If you put too much glitter on this design, it will take away the, the, the glitter, the fade. So we want to see the fade, but also the glitter, so not too much. I start with the green. And I put it on in a little pad. And then we go to the purple ones. And again in the light. This time one minute. The top coat needs more time. This glitter is not color protected, so uh, we need to put another coat of top coat, another coat of top coat, another layer of top coat to protect the glitter. Otherwise, it will lose its color and it's gone. Again into the lamp. How nice we can cut out something so a minute doesn't take a minute. <laughs> so this gel polish top coat has a sticky layer so we need to remove that. I use uh, a kitchen towel, it's cheap and it does its job. We rub it in 
And there we have Oh, I love them. And when I go outside in the sun, it's it shines like crazy. Okay, so put away the alcohol and then we're done. You can rub your uh, cuticles in with, with oil, so after a treatment it's nice and it's taking care of the cuticles already, so I also do that very quickly so you are taking care of your cuticles so I really hope you like my video and that you don't think I'm nuts well I am a bit but okay if you like it please give me a thumbs up and maybe you would like to subscribe on my channel or there or there I don't know uh, push the notification button so you get a notification <laughs> when I put something new on it and um, bye